A matchup between Ohio and Ball State was set in the convo Wednesday night. The game ended close and hot in the end, but started slow and cold in the beginning. Ohio started the game missing all 13 three-pointers they attempted, along with going only 22% from the field. The Bobcats saw an improved second quarter, courtesy of Caitlin Kroll. The redshirt junior was on fire, hitting a perfect 4-for-4 four four from downtown. Kroll was among one of four Bobcats to get into double figures on the night, as she led the way in scoring with 20 points. Erica Johnson, usually a key factor to Ohio's success, was not a factor in the scoring category in the first half. She didn't score her first points until the opening minutes of the third quarter. Not to mention she chipped in nine points in that period. All in all, Johnson did end up being a contributor, finishing with 18 points despite a slow start. It took the Bobcats and the Cardinals a full three quarters to get their offenses rolling, which would mean that the fourth quarter would be a treat, and it was. The Cardinals had their highest scoring quarter of the game in the fourth as the Cats allowed 24 points. The game was back and forth down to the wire and as the Bobcats were down with only seconds left on the clock, well, take a look. Johnson hits a huge three, ice in her veins, tying the game at 81, which would eventually send it to overtime. Ohio would end up having key turnovers in the end resulting in a heartbreaking 88-85 to loss to Ball State. Head coach Bob Bolden was not happy with the team's efforts in the loss, specifically with defense, turnovers, and rebounding. I just wish we were better defensively, and uh, we're not. I, our communication is poor. Um, we've shown no ability to really rebound the basketball. So, no, 22 turnovers for this team is embarrassing. It's ridiculous. We start four point guards and we have 22 turnovers. I mean, that's a joke.